First is task A. During task A, our team wanted to set up a cross-sectional path and create it using embed. After that, we took the values from the path and applied them to compose. The modified program for time is as follows. We removed hold time and tn from the existing program since path we use start from the origin and end smoothly. And we set the operation time to 50 for smoother and more accurate control. Other values were modified according to the chain setting and we were able to get a new CSV file through Compose. For next is activate for task B. When using activate with the given example, there was a problem of divergence. To prevent such divergence, we reduced the size, but the path for starting point was unsatisfactory. Therefore, we changed the time setting in Compose beforehand, and through this, we were able to obtain more applicable paths. Afterward, we set the speed scale to 1.5 and 3.0, and each was either too slow or too fast. So we adjust the value, and we finally got the desired value through the speed of 2.02. .02. Last is rendering process through Inspire Studio. First, we take H3D file to Inspire Studio. And we use environment type to Studio 24 ATM. Next, we select material properties to apply to the model. We select total of 6 material properties for this specific model. And we will import them to the browser to use. Since most of the assembly parts are based on Material Scratch 2, we set the general material models to Material Scratch 2. And then choose the appropriate materials for the rest of the assembly part. Please confirm whole setting by to enclosed file. Additionally, we change details values to increase the sense of reality. The preset was set to HDTC 1920.1080. After a long period of rendering, the result is obtained. This is the final result of rendering. Let's take a look. That's it for the presentation of Team Koo. Thank you.